Everyone, this is Jimmy from BioLite. Today we'll be introducing our brand new CMX BioMission. As you can see, we have already connected seven patients in the system. And the operating system is Windows 7, Windows 10 with server of 32 bits or 64 bits. And the recommended configuration is CPU Intel i7, 16 GB. BioVision supporting brand new P series patient monitor, S series patient monitor, and M series and our A series and Q series. And the communication mode is including wire and Wi-Fi. And the number of monitoring devices is up to 64 bits being monitored at the same time. And screen support one screen, dual screen, three screen, and either four screen. Depends on the screen size and how many patients that we need to put it into the system. And we have our P15, which is the brand new P series patient monitor. And also we have our P18 and also S series patient monitor. And including our P1 transport monitor. And another S series. And also M series. M10 and M12. When we go to BioVision interface, on the left corner, you will be able to see the manual settings. And we can click on to the system settings. The first is general, and we can customize the volumes. And also, the second option is display. And once we key in the passcode, we'll be able to customize all the parameter colors. And if you want to change the display layout, and we can select here. And we can customize alarms. And the third option, we can change the volumes. And we can change device management. Depends on Needs. We can change the group name. Right, so I can change the patient group. And we have review page, and we can set up the review train settings. Customize modules. The first one is ECG standard, depends on which ECG standard we use, either AHA or either IEC. And we can change system time. And this is factory maintenance. And when we go to the main page, on the interface, we will be able to see the notifications over here. Once we click onto it, we will be able to see the physiological alarms and technical alarms. We use mouse to double click onto the first patient. We will be able to go to this view bed page and we can expand ECG waveforms and also we can change different displays. And the first is alarm settings. each and every of the parameters, alarm limits, alarm level, just on one page. And also we can choose different screen displays. I can choose from normal screen, Choose from mini trend.
epoxy CRG. And when we choose easy to screen, we will be able to see all top lid on the screen. AVL, AVR, AVF, and V1 to V6. And also, we can freeze the waveform by clicking onto this icon. And once we freeze the waveform, we will be able to print out if we have a printer connected to CMS. Okay, once we click. And also from the CMS, we will be able to remotely put the patient monitor into standby mode. Once we click standby, the system will prompt us the, uh, the system will prompt us a notification. Are you sure you want to go to standby? And we click OK. And the respective monitor will be going to standby mode. And also we can resume monitoring. After we monitor patient ECG for a period of time, we will be able to see ECG 24 hours summary page. And over here we can open full disclosure. And support up to 240 hours of full disclosure. 240 hours of trends and for NIPP review, support up to 1,000 NMPP measurement results. And for cardiac output, to support up to 720 cardiac output measurement results. In this full disclosure page, we will be able to open all those waveforms storage. And for display page, we will be able to support up to three waveforms being displayed at the same time. And if there is abnormality detected during this period of time, if we want to focus on this part of the ECG, we can click detail and we can open up the detailed page for us to analyze the ECGs. And also we have a selection button here. Once we click, we will be able to select a period of ECG waveform and print it out. And once we finish the selection, Print out from the printer that connected. And as you can see, this is the duration that we selected. And we can customize the quick keys. We click onto the quick keys. As we can see, we have several default settings here. And if we want to choose some of the quick keys, quick keys that we want to put it onto the menu bar, we can choose the location. Then we choose, for example, an MPP measurement. Right, so the MPP version will be here. We can choose the second one, for example, when I go to night mode. be able to see an MBB measurement and night mode over here.